Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. A few years ago, I was over at Miles Sampa's house. And hey, you know Miles. Miles is the former mayor of Lusaka. Miles is he's one of the 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 contenders of he wants to be he wants to lead the notorious patriotic front, that party that's embroiled in all kinds of craziness. But Miles has put his foot forward to 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 lead that party. And of course they're fighting him in there, you know. But there's one time he invited people to his house and a whole bunch of people were there so many different people was, were there given lubinda was there the former governor of bank of zambia was there so many different pf people were there you know i i went there because miles had invited me and and i get along with miles miles i think is a, is a good friend of mine and i love him and while i was there this young man approached me and he seemed to know who I was by virtue of the fact that, you know, I'm a so-called media personality, whatever the heck that means. So this young man walks over to me and then he's, you know, we start making small talk and he's, you know, he introduces himself to me and we begin to talk. And, I, and honestly, I didn't know who this guy was. You know, he, we talked and and he introduced himself and one of the first things that he did one of the very first things that he did is that he name dropped do you know what it means when someone name name drops it means they mention someone that's very very important and they mention them within their sphere in other words when he name dropped this this big person and i'll tell you who that is in a moment he sort of indicated that he knew this person, this big name that he dropped. Now, when he name dropped, I was thinking, what's, what's, what's the connection? What's the purpose of you telling me that you know this person? And, and you know, I'm sitting there thinking, well, I'm not clear as to why you're bringing this name up. So finally, he brings it up and he says to me, he says, well, you know, we're very good friends. I said, oh, really? He says, yeah. I said, I can even show, I can even prove it to you. So he pulls out his phone in the same way that this man, Kamlesh Patney did. This guy that I met at Miles Sampa's house, he pulls out his phone and then he shows me a picture of him with uh, former president Edgar Longo. I said, you know, the president and I, are, he says, the president and I are very close. I said, really? He says, yeah. Now, at this moment, I'm thinking, okay, now what? And the young man that was talking to me was, was this young man here. Chomba Kaoma. And, 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 and I, I discovered that every time I would bump into him or I'd see him somewhere, he would always make it a point to bring up the fact that he knew the former president. Now, guys, you must understand that people that do that are not genuine people. They're con artists. When they use a big name to convince you that they are well-connected, and they're trying to demonstrate to you that they're somebody because they know somebody else or somebody that's really big in the government or somebody that's somebody that can potentially change your view about them and and this name here came up again during the honeybee scandal Every time I would see him, this Chomba, 
he was on television and he was talking about how you know they had invested so much money as Honey Bee and how this that and the other and how much money they had and this was on national he was on at the time it was spring tv and as and incidentally spring tv has been closed uh for whatever reason but my point is this at first glance when you would hear chomba kaoma talking about honeybee before that whole honeybee scandal blew up he spoke about honeybee as if it was his company he spoke about honeybee as if he was one of the main players in honeybee he talked about honeybee as if he was the signatory to all the big accounts but when the scandal broke out the financial scandal of honeybee broke out chomba Ka Ka kaoma was nowhere mentioned do you know what that what that, what that tells you it tells you that he was just a front he's one of these people that that go out front they don't have any clout it's all a mirage it's all a smoke screen they want to make you believe that they're one of the big boys but when the when 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 the when the when the when the defecation hits the fan you discover very quickly that they are nowhere near what they claim to be and, and that's when i i realized who this guy was i realized that you know it's it, it's, it's all about the smoke screen it's all about the magic show it's all about the facade and and let me warn you guys let me warn you be weary of anyone that walks up to you i mean look we all take pictures of heads of state or with heads of state okay we've all done it i mean at any time you get an opportunity to take a picture with the president and you and you take it but when you begin to use it as a tool to convince someone that you are highly connected, it only means one thing. They're a con artist and they're trying to con you. And that's the truth. It's different if someone shows you a picture that they took with the, with the president and say, oh, guess who I met the other day? I met the president. And you show the picture and it ends there but when you begin to show pictures of you jogging with the president and you taking photographs with the president and then you tether it you hook it with this narrative that you are well connected and that the person you're talking to needs you because they all of a sudden now recognize that oh you're someone important so you can get me connected you can get me to, to 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 rub shoulders with the people in the corridors of power be weary of people that show you pictures of of them with heads of state they're con artists are you hearing that and i'm just hey man we're just we're dropping bombs today it's the weekend what, what are we going to do okay let's just drop the bombs let me read a couple of your comments on this segment before I move to Bowman. Somebody says, I agree with you, Pops. I do. Oh, Lorraine Wangu. <laughs> That's my friend, Lorraine Wangu. Yeah. Here we go. Somebody's watching from Sulwazi. So, so be weary of that. Be weary of that. And never, and always listen to your gut. Always listen to your instincts. When, when, when someone approaches you and they're, they're talking a big game, meaning, you know, they're talking big. They're, you know, I know this, the president, I know, I know this minister, and, and for no reason. That's a red flag. Chances are they're dubious.
Chances are they're con artists. Chances are they're up to no good. Chances are they, they, they are skullduggers. Chances are they're not straight. It's a red flag. All right. Lastly, Bowman. So the other day, Bowman says, uh, I, I will refund. Remember, Miles paid 200,000 kwacha for his nomination fees over there at the PF office. And then Bowman, he said something that is not out of character for him. He says, no, me, I can pay back Bowman. That, uh, I, mean, I can pay back Miles. That uh, 200,000 kwacha. In fact, with interest. You know what Bowman is doing? He's doing the same thing he used to do when he was in government. Remember what he used to say? He, he would say, my wife's perfume can pay someone's salary. This boastful, braggadocious attitude. And, and guys, let me tell you. Take it from me. Even if you are rich, there is nothing more unattractive than a boastful person. Boastful. Bowman does this very well. And, and, and what's sad about Bowman is that he does it and he doesn't even know that he's doing it. That's what's sad about it. If you were to walk up to Bowman and say, you know what, you, you sound a bit boastful. He would, you, he would look at you like a calf looking at a new gate. You know why? Because he's unaware of his boastfulness. My, the, the money that my wife uh, spends on perfume can pay some of your salaries. In the same vein, by the same token, it is the very same spirit that he's speaking when he says, I can pay back Mao's Sampa's nomination fees, including interest. It's that boastfulness. Anyway, your boastfulness here is he, he, he not necessary. Given the backdrop against the backdrop of what Bowman is going through now, how dare he say something like that? Bowman has got a long list of charges from the Anti-Corruption Commission. You would think that a man like him would be smart enough to keep his big mouth shut by not saying things like that. Here it is, the ACC, have, uh, they're investigating you for so many different uh, financial mismanagement scandals. And then you have the audacity. He has the unmitigated goal to say things like, your 200,000 is nothing. Oh, really? against the backdrop of you being investigated you will still you still insist on making such braggadocious statements it i mean when it comes to bowman this this sort of boastfulness it's it's in his blood he the guy can't help it you know it's 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 like this there's a young man uh, he's on social media now he can't help himself. He, he, he constantly talks about how he's rich and this, that, and the other. Now listen, if you've got the goods to back it up and, and you want to live your life in that way, that's, that's, you're fine to do that. But it is disingenuous when you don't have the goods, but you claim to have the goods. That's unattractive. And these kids on social media, they have no idea what they're doing. When they get older, they will. They'll know. Right now, they think it's all fun and games. I warn you, there is nothing more unattractive than being boastful. Boastful. A prideful and a haughty spirit, God rejects. That's scripture. That's Bible. All right. Thought I'd share that with you. Let me read a couple of your comments here. Who is this? This is somebody's from Durban. Watching from Durban and you talk so much sense. 
Great listening to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Watching from Dubai. Wow. From Dubai. Wonderful. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Well, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.